What's going on, everybody? Get the raging Rob here. I haven't made a video in a little while. In a, while, a little while, I've just been busy. <clears throat> Don't mind me. I just got over. I just got. I just had. Do, I just got done with uh, Easter dinner. Easter dinner. I just had done with Easter dinner. First off, before I start this video, what I'm going to talk about. We got a situation in Grand Rapids right now. It's starting to escalate a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to give my thoughts on it, on the shooting, whether I think it was justified or not, and my thoughts about what's going on in Grand Rapids right now. Before that, I just want to say Happy Easter to everybody. Um, I got a new account on Facebook because I had my other account is in jail for 30 days for, I don't remember what it was, something. I think I was talking about a transmission in my Dodge Charger. The other kind of trans, if you know what I mean. I can't go into details. Let's go, Brandon. So I end up 30 days. I made a new account on Facebook. Well, that's on a 24-hour bench for simply sharing a video of a person pointing a gun at a motorist in downtown Grand Rapids. I'm going to get to that in a minute. So that earned me a 24-hour jail sentence on Facebook. Yeah. So I'm going to get to all that in a minute. But first off, Happy Easter, everybody. Hope everybody had a good Easter. Let's remember what Easter is about. Not little bunnies and their stupid little eggs. What Easter is about. My Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, dying on the cross, shedding his blood for our sins. That's what Easter is about. Easter Sunday. I woke up a little late this morning. I'm kind of pissed off. I didn't get in the church. If there's any church service you should go to, it should be on Easter Sunday. And I planned on going. And I was told that the church service, that the church I was going to go to, had a evening service. So I thought, okay, fine. And I found out they do not have an evening service. And I was kind of mad. Because I did not go to church today. And I wanted to. I haven't been to church in a few weeks because I've just been busy. And that, that's an excuse I need to stop. There's no excuse for that. Don't get me wrong. There's no excuse not to get in the church. And I'm making excuses, and I, I'm wrong for that. But it, with regard, with whatever. Happy Easter, everybody. Let's remember the real meaning of Easter. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, died for our sins. He shed his blood. That it was the ultimate sacrifice. So I will always be in debt to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That is a fact. I will always be in debt to Him. Now let's get to what I want to talk about. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Now I didn't hear about this shooting until a few days ago. I don't pay attention to fake news. They put out an agenda for one side. They're, they're one-sided. Me, as an independent journalist, as an independent YouTuber... I'm two-sided. I try to get all the facts on both sides. Okay? There's people on one side, some people, that don't like me. Because they think I'm one-sided. And I'm actually not. I'm actually two-sided. Okay? The mainstream media is one-sided. But not me. I'm all about the truth. I gotta be two-sided. I'm independent. There's people on my side that don't like me because I'm two-sided. Because I don't take sides. When it comes to me doing videos and going to rallies and protests doing videos, I don't take sides. I try to get the voice of everybody. So, with that being said, mainstream media... Of course, there being one side. We had the Brooklyn shooting that happened. For all you people out there saying, well, black people don't get taken into custody alive. Well, the Brooklyn shooter got taken into custody alive. We're, nobody hears about that anymore. We had this incident in Grand Rapids. Patrick Lyoya, or I can't pronounce his name. L-Y-O-Y-A or something. I, weird name. La, Lila, or Lila, 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 whatever. I'll just say Patrick. Okay, so, we have an immigrant from Congo 
that settled here, him and his family. Now, this person, this man, this individual, has a criminal record. A lot of these shootings, I end up doing research on the suspect, and they always have a criminal, well, not always, but sometimes, most, a lot of times, most of the time, they have a criminal record. This guy has a criminal record of domestic violence. Okay. Somebody said he pointed a gun at his pregnant girlfriend. I don't know if that's true, but there is a criminal history there. But that's besides the point of what happened on April the 4th in Grand Rapids. So, I watched the video, and I'll be posting a link to the video in the description below. It's graphic, but you can, uh, because some people are making statements without even looking at the video. Okay, that's why I always say, well, let me see the video first. Okay, before I make a statement, I'm going to watch the video first. But there's people out there saying, oh, justice for Patrick Lyla, these racist fucking cops and and then I ask them, well, did you look at the video? Well, no, I didn't. Well, put in the description below is the video link. I always leave my comment section open so you can make your own decisions. I'm not going to censor anybody. If you are censored, that's YouTube. I got nothing to do with that. So this guy gets pulled over. Because from my understanding, the cop said, somebody said it was a, uh, in expired plate. No, it was a plate that didn't match the vehicle. He had a plate on the car, but it did not match the vehicle. Okay. Meaning, meaning that the plate registered did not match the description of that vehicle. So a couple of things could have happened with this. Maybe his plate got expired. He couldn't get to the Secretary of State's office to renew it because of the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I I understand, you know, how fucked up the Secretary of State's office is right now. I'm talking about the pandemic part. If you believe we're still in a pandemic, good for you. Secretary of State of Michigan is so fucked up, it's ridiculous. I've had problems handing in paperwork to renew my medical for my CDL. I left that Secretary of State's office with middle fingers flying in the air, screaming at people to stop voting for Democrats, and I was ejected from the property. This was about a year ago. I'm not a silent person. I'm very loud, and I'm very brutally honest. So I'm going to be brutally honest. I'm not going to hold back. So this man was pulled over. He had a wrong license plate on the car. Okay. It didn't match the vehicle. That tells me either he couldn't get his plates renewed, so he put on another license plate, or the vehicle was stolen, and he put on a plate so he wouldn't get pulled over. If you see a cop behind you in traffic, they're probably running your plate. Trust me, I know. I work in Detroit. I work in Detroit three, four nights a week. And days, sometimes. I know. On my way to work. I get Detroit police following me to work sometimes. <laughs> right behind me. I've had them follow me for two, three miles. I'm like, what the hell is this guy doing? And I watch them. They're running your plate. Probable cause, they need a reason to pull you over. Okay? So in the video, the guy gets out of the vehicle. His first mistake, you should stay in your fucking vehicle. That's the first mistake he made, getting out of your vehicle. Stay in your vehicle, okay? After officer of commands to stay in his vehicle, he did not get in his vehicle. There was a second person in the vehicle. The officer asked, told him, hey, you know, your license plate doesn't match the vehicle. Can you get your ID, please? There was some kind of a little argument between the suspect and the officer. So the guy opens up the door and says to his passenger, get my license or, you know, whatever. Then he shuts the door. Starts walking away from the officer. So the officer grabs him by the shoulder and attempts to take him into custody. Because he's being uncooperative. Then he starts resisting. 
It's his second mistake. Well, that's his third mistake. His second, his second mistake was walking away from the officer during a traffic stop. His third mistake was resisting arrest. So a struggle insured. Number four, his fourth mistake was grabbing the officer's taser. Officer whipped out the taser during the struggle. He grabbed the officer's taser. This officer didn't seem like he had control of the situation, I'm going to be honest, at first. So, i got to be careful how I word things. So, eventually he ended up on the ground. During a struggle, the body cam was shut off. Some people said that he deliberately shut the body camera off. Uh, I believe that it was accidentally shut off during the struggle. That does happen. Let me show you the kind of body cams the police use. This is the body cam. This is a body cam. It's easy. This is the same kind the police use. You turn it on right here. Just hold that button down. They can easily, anytime, just... Now it's off. Simple, <clears throat> simple as one, two, three. Simple. It's not hard. It's, it's very simple. During a struggle, this thing can go on and off. It can be accidentally turned on and off during a struggle, and that's probably what happened. Some people said that he deliberately did turn it off. I'm not buying that he deliberately turned it off. When I see a struggle, that would be kind of hard for him to do, right? So I'm going to take it that he, uh, that it was accidentally turned off during the struggle. There was another man on the ground videotaping, which I highly encourage people to videotape the cops. I always have. I've always been a supporter of uh, videotaping the police. Uh, Copwatch.org. I've always been a follower of Copwatch, watching the police, because they do work for us. Videotape the police. Every time you get pulled over, you should videotape the police. As a matter of fact, i got a camera in my car. With the click of a button, it automatically videotapes. Just all I gotta do is click a button in my car, videotapes, audio, everything. Just like that. Inside my car and outside. I highly encourage if you get pulled over to videotape the police. Cameras don't lie. So I'm glad there was somebody there videotaping. So he ends up on the ground and the officer shoots him and pulls out his gun and shoots him in the back of the head. It looked like he got shot in the neck from the angle. That's what it looked like. It looked like he got shot in the neck, in the back of the neck. That's what it looked like. But they're saying he got shot back in the head. It looked like he got shot in the back of the neck. It looked like it was like right here. I mean, it wasn't right here. It looked, it looks like it, it looked like it was like right about here. Even that can end your life immediately. So, I had to look at this video a few times. The point where I heard the shot, I stopped it, and the officer's hands were, and this guy's face was in the mud. I'm going to piss off a lot of people on my side. I'm going to piss off a lot of people, but this was not justified. This, I don't believe this is second degree murder because this was not done in malice. I don't believe it was first degree murder because I don't think the cop wake, woke up this morning saying, I'm going to kill somebody today, you know, and who it's going to be. So manslaughter at best. In order for second degree murder to take place, it had to be in a passion, like you're pissed off at somebody and, I don't know, you're at the bar and they splash a drink on you and you, you know, that's second degree. First degree is like you planned it out. Manslaughter. This this was manslaughter. This cop should have never been on the force, making this bad decision like he did. He did call for backup. Backup was on its way because right after he shot the guy and got up, I hear sirens. So 
If he would have waited another, he, he had the suspect on the ground, clearly. All he had to wait was like 30 seconds. And backup would have arrived. And, you know, we wouldn't be where we're at right now, so. But here we are again. And keep in mind, this is an election year. Okay? This has been going on every single year, <clears throat> every single election year, from I remember, since Ferguson. Okay? 2014, Michael Brown, the one who did actually try to take the cop's gun. Okay? Some of these shootings were not justified. Okay? This one was not just, you're not going to make, you're not going to convince me that this was justified. No, the officer was on top of that guy. He had him under control, it looks like. Wiggling around, yeah, but he had it, he had it, it looked like he was starting to get control of it. And he whipped out his gun and just executed him. That This was manslaughter. But we've seen a repeat of this, and now we got people marching in the street in Grand Rapids. And it's just it's just the situation over and over again, okay? I guess they were marching the last few days. I guess yesterday there was some rally. Uh, I even went down there. Um, I was thinking about it, but I don't know. I'll just stay away for now. But there's a rally on Tuesday. I guess they're going to march to the commissioner's office. Oh, well, there's a new group in town, too. A new brand. I don't know if they're brand new or how new they are, but there's a new group out there. And they call themselves the Royal Black Panthers of Grand Rapids. Now, I just heard about these guys a few hours ago. I'm unfamiliar with them. But I took a lot of gun training classes. And one thing they teach us in gun training is do never... Never pull out your gun out of your holster unless, unless life is threatened. Okay? There's a video floating around. I don't know if they're Antifa or what, but there's one guy, big fat guy. He had his gun pointed out at the motorist. So the one guy, I guess he's from the Black Panthers, he's wearing a yellow vest. And he walks up to the driver's side of the vehicle tells him to get the hell out of here well you got three guys blocking one with purple hair not that it matters blocking the vehicle when the other guys tell him to get the hell out of here well get the fuck out of the way how about that okay so and you see the guy he's got a gun outside of his holster like this that's brandishing so yeah so that's what we're dealing with right now in Grand Rapids. So, yeah. That's what we're dealing with. Well, as the vehicle is driving away, somebody kick the vehicle and the one lady comes out. I don't know if she's a Black Panther or what, but there was a lady wearing a white hat or she had a white head cover and she was yelling at them, don't do that, don't do that. So I'll give credit where credit's due. You know, I'll give her credit for trying to maintain some order. So I'll give her that, I'll give them that much. So, so far there's been no violence. I mean, there's this incident with the motorist, the gun being pointed. That's, that's all I've seen so far. So far nothing's been burned down or loot it or anything like that and hopefully it stays that way but this has happened before in michigan if you remember back in 2020 we had the i don't want to say this guy's name because i don't want to give him any fucking credit but you know who he's uh, you know who he was who he is he's he was a leader of a group called we the free people of lansing and there was an incident in i believe june of 2020 maybe it was end of may where the video was out there on Facebook, a motorcyclist was driving down the street, and this, they, take, they take over the street, 
and there was a guy that took his rifle and pointed it at the motorcyclist. It's not a good idea to point guns at people, you know, because uh, as somebody who's, you know, professionally trained with firearms, I've had guns pointed at me before. It's not fun. It's not funny. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. But they're going to point the gun at the wrong person one day. The last thing I want is another Kenosha, Wisconsin situation. The last thing anybody wants is that. You want to have your protest? You want to have your rallies? Protest, you know, it's constitutional what they're doing. First Amendment, freedom of speech. There's five clauses of the First Amendment. Freedom of speech. You can say what the hell you want in public. Number two. Freedom of the press. You got your press. I see them with their press signs on their backpacks, taking pictures. Freedom of the press. Freedom of religion. You can worship whoever you want. Freedom to peacefully assemble. I said peacefully assemble. Come together and protest. And last but not least, freedom to petition your government. What's they're doing? The police are the government. For all you back the blue people out there, I seen something funny the other day on a vehicle when I was going down the on the highway. I thought it was fucking hilarious. One side they have a "Don't tread on me," on the other side they have a blue line flag. Okay, that's hilarious. The only flag you're gonna see me wave. Is the, of the of the United States is the red, white, and blue. You will never see me wave this fucking thing. And I got it upside down, don't I? This was given to me as a gift. I never flew it. And I never will. This is a violation of 4 U.S.C. Section 2 and Section 8 of the federal flag code for all you back the blue people that don't understand that I will never fly this flag because it's a desecration to the red white and blue it is look it up a lot of people are going to disagree with me and unsubscribe from my channel go right ahead it is what it is the police are government for all you people oh, I back the blue okay good Freedom to petition your government. Let's not forget that. They work for us. Let's not forget that. So for all you back the blue people out there. Well, I support the police. Well, I do too. As long as they're abiding by the oath of the Constitution. Okay. But lately it seems like the police are a monopoly force. Uh-huh. They're looking for revenue. Uh, we have taxes we pay. Okay, the police are not supposed to be a revenue. Okay, they're not supposed to be a business. They're not. So all you back the blue people out there. Okay, well I got a question for you. Do you back the DNR, the IRS, the ATF, the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, the CSA? Um. The TSA, now what's the other one? CPS, about three quarters of those organizations are a violation of the Constitution itself, including CPS, Child Protective Services. The government should not be raising our kids. We raise our kids. If there's abuse going on, the police should get involved. CPS is a fucking joke. The ATF is a fucking joke. And the IRS is straight up fucking illegal. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. So, that is that. So. Like I said, I respect their constitutional rights. They're going the street and whatever. But when it gets started getting violent and shit like that, 
I cut the I cut it off at terrorism. That's where I cut it off. What I don't care whatever group you're part of, Antifa, BLM, Black Panther this, Black Panther that, you know, or Radical Movement Alliance, or I've heard of it all, you know, whatever. Uh, what we got in Michigan? Uh, we got some rifle group in Michigan, Socialist Rifle Michigan something. They're I think they're out of Kalamazoo. Whatever. I've seen them in a few protests. Being a constitutionalist, you support the Constitution, not just for people that, what, just for things you believe in, but you support the Constitution for everybody. That's what being a constitutionalist is about. If you cannot support the Constitution for every American, whether you agree with them or not, then you're not a constitutionalist. You're a fucking bigot and a hypocrite. So... So far, things in Grand Rapids have been peaceful other than what happened, I think, yesterday with the gun at the motorist. Yeah. So I'm hoping things don't escalate on Tuesday. But I'm keeping an eye on things, and uh, that is that. I got a couple other guys of mine keeping an eye on things. So just keep in mind that Michigan... Shit doesn't burn down here. We're not Minneapolis. We're not Seattle. We're not Portland. We're not California. We're not We're not New York. Okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. And I think a lot of you know why shit doesn't burn down here. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to say why. But that's that. And that's my final thought. Everybody have a good Easter.